your New Japan post-game show here from Cork and Hall. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin Kelly along with Don Callis. It is great to be back in Japan once again, and it is great to be on the road to Sakura Genesis. But the road stops this Sunday with the big event, April the 1st, and we'll have all the bell-to-bell -bell action right here in jpwworld.com. Let's first focus, Don, on our main event, what we're going to see on Sunday with Zack Sabre Jr. challenging Okada for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, and what we saw tonight Things don't look good if you're the champion. No, I mean, because I think that Zack Sabre presents a very unique challenge for Okada, a challenge Okada hasn't had to face so far. And that is someone who can submit you at any angle. We saw him hook a submission coming off the ropes when we thought he was gonna be on the receiving end of something from Okada. This is a very dangerous opponent. This is an opponent who can finish at any level and an opponent who perhaps most importantly, Kevin, has taken very little physical punishment the last six months as opposed to Okada where the opposite is true. Exactly right. And while we won't spoil any of the results from tonight, of course the replay will be available soon uh, right here on njpwworld.com. If you did not see the event live, we will talk about one of the factors that will play a role Sunday, and that's the fact that Zack Sabre Jr. focused repeatedly the right arm, the Rainmaker arm. Yep. And now, what does Okada have to do? How can he, does he just hope to survive? Does he hope to have some miracles, some divine intervention? What well, does he need to he's do? He's had a lot of miracles in the last year getting through some of these very difficult matches. I think he's got a challenge because I don't think, I think what's clear here is Gato has no plan for Zack Sabre. Gato had a plan for Omega. He had a plan for, for just about everyone who caught his face, Tanahashi, Suzuki. He has no plan for Zack Sabre. And I don't know that anyone could have a plan for Zack Sabre. Look, Okada's the better athlete. Okada's taller, he's stronger, he's faster. But the problem is Zack Sabre is like wrestling a giant tarantula. He can hook you at any point and finish. And I don't think that there's an answer here. So Okada is in trouble. Let's also do a little preview, if we can, of the big event, Sakura Genesis. Uh, starts at 4 p.m. Uh, local time here in Japan on Sunday will be Ryogoku Sumo Hall. Uh, it's 3 a.m. in the East, midnight Pacific time. And uh, Golden Lovers reunite another tag team matchup, this time on Sunday against Cody and Hangman Page. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be an event because the Golden Lovers are like the Beatles and the Von Erichs all rolled into one here in Japan and across the world as we saw in the U.S. This is going to be an interesting match, but I hate to say it, Cody and Hangman Page are no match physically, are no match from a wrestling perspective, and are no match emotionally, frankly, for the bond of the Golden Lovers. So I think this one, I don't want to say it's going to be a rout, but it's not going to go 30 minutes. It's not going to go 40 minutes like the last match right. they had. And of course, we'll also see Will Ospreay defend the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title against the villain Marty Skrull. We'll see the Young Bucks in tag team action against fellow Bullet Club members Chase Owens, Yujiro Takahashi. Never open weight, six man titles are on the line and more. So make sure you're there. Don and I will be at ringside. Tokyo Latina is going to be there. She will be there. Oh boy. And we hope you're there as well. So join us. All the action right here at NJPWWorld.com. For Don Callis, I'm Kevin Kelly. It's the post-game report here from Cork and Hall. We'll see you on Sunday, everybody.